Hello and welcome to this week's Start Go Edu. You know, Croco and I have been thinking about all the trash we produce. Yeah, how is it even possible that we produce so much trash? I have no idea. We have to take out our trash every single day. Hmm, what's in a trash can anyway? Well, luckily we have an easy way of finding out. Here we have a trash can. Let's ooh, explore the ooh, contents. This is exciting. Put your That's goggles it. on ooh. before you right. touch anything. <laughs> good, good reminder there. Protect your eyes, you only got one pair. There is an empty milk carton. A soda can. An egg carton. Some really odd onion peels, I Ew. think. Ew! Used coffee grounds and a filter Ooh, that's paper. Gross. Um, let's see now. Eggshells. Ah. Oh. Some used uh, cosmetics containers. A bit more of those. Yeah. And some cardboard thingy. Maybe it's in. Uh, I think it's from a toilet paper. Oh, might well, be. Yeah. Yeah. All right. How well, is it even possible that we make this much trash? I didn't, honestly, I didn't even think about throwing this away when I did. Um, how about we think about the life cycle of this aluminium can, for instance? Wow. Yes, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. It's interesting. Did you know that aluminium ore is called bauxite? I sure did, but did you know that Australia is one of the biggest producers of bauxite? Oh, really? Yes, and that's, it is. that's actually really far away from Finland. We're in Finland right now, and uh, that's basically on the other side of the world from us. You can actually do a little research at home to find out where the nearest aluminium mine to your country is. So, how far does the aluminium need to be shipped in order to reach you. But let's do that later, right? But what happens in the life cycle of aluminium can? Well, in the mining process uh, of, of aluminium, actually toxic substances are produced as a side product and they really Ooh, aren't good toxic. for the environment. Oh, that's bad. That and is bad. It can harm the wildlife also, right? Yeah, what a wild, bummer. Wildlife Ooh. can be harmed, it is Ooh. a bummer. Yeah, and that's actually not the only bad news because um, after being mined, mined, the aluminium of obviously needs to be processed. And the site of processing is not necessarily near to where it was mined. So the shipping distances can be pretty long. Yes, and by ship, did you know that shipping always uses fuel, which releases CO2 into the atmosphere, and that's a greenhouse gas, right? That's it contributes true. to the global warming. That is that's true. Bad. And actually, uh, carbon dioxide is not the only greenhouse gas that's it's produced not. in the process. There are also others, so it's not great. The, no. the long shipping distances, I mean. Processing of aluminium is also very, very energy intensive. Making a single can of aluminium uses up as much energy as is in a quarter can of gasoline. My goodness, that's a lot of energy. That is a lot Why of energy. Why don't we drink soda out of cans that are less energy consuming? Well, in sense. the future we can, possibly, I hope so. yeah. Or we could recycle the ones uh, that we use. If you recycle 100 cans, that's enough energy saved up for you to light your bedroom for two whole weeks. OMG! Wow! I live in Croco Cave, though. Well, you can even light up the Croco Cave. It yes. doesn't have to be a bedroom. Did you know that here in Finland, 94% of all aluminium drinks, drink cans are recycled? And that's because there is a deposit on the cans. Every time you return a can to the store, you get 15 cents. Oh, oh my God, I'm going to be rich! 
Well, yes. <laughs> I'm not sure if it'll make you rich. I hope you don't drink that much soda, but you better recycle in any case. It's good for the environment. <laughs> yeah, but hey, I'm thinking, why don't we try to add one more useful step into the life cycle of al aluminium can? Yeah, good idea. What could we make from an aluminium can? Well, for example, I've made this beautiful flower. Oh, so do. you cut it open like this on the sides and then you twisted it open and painted it. Yeah. Beautiful, that is gorgeous. You I made a lantern. Cool, <laughs> it's so cool. And you can actually cut open uh, one of the sides on the back so you can slip in a tea light. Of course, you can light it with the help of your parents. Slip it in once it's been lighted and then hang it up in your garden, for instance, or in your room. Make sure you're watching it when the tea light is burning. Oh, these will be so nice things. Yeah, let's make more. Yeah. What else could we make out of trash? Well, could we make cosmetics from used coffee grounds, you think? Oh, we might be able to do that. Could we make a birdhouse out of a used milk carton? We could. And elsewhere in the world there are plastic ones, so I think those ones would work even better for, for the birdhouses. Do you think that eggshells could have a function in your garden? I certainly do. Yeah, research and into that. What about uh, onion peels? Do you think we could dye fabric using them? That is yes. an excellent idea. Actually, coffee grounds can also be used for that. And cosmetics containers and uh, Pieces of cardboard can be used for anything creative that you can think of, like making miniatures as we did in the previous video. So many options. So many options. You can do your own project. Yeah, make your own projects by following the instructions at the end of this video. And please do share your findings and the process of excitement with us on Instagram with the help of your parents. Use the hashtag StartLuma and StartGoEru. See you next time. See ya. <laughs> Bye.